we were uh, talking about 20 year anniversary of The Sopranos, and mm. we were wondering, would Breaking Bad have been made if we didn't have The Sopranos? I don't think so. I think what what they were able to David Chase was able to do in creating a character like Tony Soprano was certainly paving the way to allow the space for someone like Walter White to exist. Yeah, it was it was groundbreaking. Because you I don't know if you root for the bad guy, but you don't root against. It feels like there is empathy for the bad guy. Well, it, it is easy. It's not that clear. What you root for is humanity. When you see the humanity in Tony Soprano, uh, for instance, the element of going to a therapist says he's searching. He's looking for something else, looking for some measure of wholeness as a human being. And that's embraceable. And I think that's why that character worked, is that he, he would go and he would kill someone, and then he'd go home and he'd have to deal with his son's homework or tardiness or his wife is complaining. Or, he was just a guy dealing with the stuff that we all deal with. And you, and you go, oh, I know, I know what that guy's dealing with. But Walter White didn't go to a therapist, did he, in Breaking Bad? No, he didn't have, he didn't have time. He had, the clock was ticking yeah. on, on Walter White. Did so. you think about that? Was that ever broached in the, uh, in the script, that he would actually be confessing to somebody? Uh, I think, I think uh, Vince Gilligan did consider something like that, but it seemed, it, it seemed to slow down the pace and the tempo of what he was trying to do. And as you notice, as the seasons went on, it, it quickened. We lost some of the humor uh, of the earlier seasons when things got more tense and desperate and naturally the humor falls away because it's too horrific to, to witness. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.